Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I have been playing around with some Pakistani makeup ideas. I always sort of struggled with like doing liner that was this thick and this vibrant. So I've been playing around and practicing, so that's what I'm wearing today. I hope you guys like it. Um, but today I'm going to do a video for you guys on the perfect red lips for someone with my skin tone or a little bit darker, even a little bit lighter. Um, it's always been really hard to find colors like that that are dark and vibrant. Um, for me especially, especially because my comfort zone has always been nudes and mauves and like lighter colors like that. But in the last year, year and a half, I've really embraced darker colors and I'm so excited to show you guys some of my picks today. So this video is intended to be for the perfect red lip. However, um, a fire truck red is to me a perfect red, but that's not the type of red that looks good on me. So what I'm going to do is I've compiled about 15 different colors that are reds, maroons, burgundies raspberries just darker colors for the winter and fall so i'm going to start off with the red reds and then sort of go from there so bear with me i'm going to be removing my lipstick so many times that i hope the makeup around my mouth doesn't come off also and i hope that it stays as true to color as it should so let's go ahead and get started i won't be speaking during this video i'm just going to be doing lip swatches so you guys can see this so that way it isn't a super long video the first one is Dance With Me, which is a recent discovery this year actually. It's one of the brighter reds that I own that I really love and do feel confident wearing. And it has a blue undertone to it, which is why I think I love it that much. The next one is NARS Members Only. And this one I think is extremely appropriate for the summer or spring even. It has that orange undertone, which I think really livens up a tan complexion. My third one is NARS Cruella. I love the texture of this. It is a velvet um, lip glide, which I think just looks so beautiful too. This is one of the more true red ones that I have. My fourth one is also by NARS. It's Palace Royale. This has a slight sheen to it. And on camera, it's looking a lot lighter than it does in real life. In real life, it's a lot more raspberry and definitely a lot darker. Next, after that, I have Dose of Colors Bury Me. This one is a true raspberry shade. It looks beautiful. It's extremely long lasting. And this one looks very, very good once it's completely dried, but it does take a while to get there. Then we have MAC Rebel, which is an old, old discovery of mine that I love. This is also a dark raspberry color, and because it's a lipstick, it has that natural sheen that most lipsticks do if they're not matte. And this one's extremely complimentary on darker skin tones and lighter um, alike. After that, we have a newer discovery that I've been loving. This is Tarte Hangry, which I also wore in my Diwali-inspired look. And again, here the camera is sort of washing it out a bit, but in real life it is darker. Um, it's much more vibrant and has a blue undertone. Next is Amore by Stila. This one I love. It's definitely a really unique shade. I don't even know how to describe it. It's a mauve type of color. It is matte, but it also has like a goldish sort of undertone to it. It's absolutely beautiful. Then we have Max Diva. This was my very first red lipstick that I ever bought four or five years ago. This is that one that is a non-fail one for me. It is matte also. One of my last ones is NARS Unspeakable. This is the new Velvet Lip Glide. Super comfortable to wear, beautiful, and it's just one of those colors that really does pack a punch. Then we have Tarte Frenemy. This is a darker color for sure, but it looks so, so good. It's an extremely high drama um, color, so it's definitely one of those things that you have to be comfortable wearing. And as such, I think it looks really good with an all-black outfit. And this one just dries down beautifully. It stays on and the formula is really good. Then we have NARS Toy. This is a really unique color as well. It's like a dark purple, grungy sort of color. I don't think this is very easily um, found in other brands. And I do like that for this reason. Then we have Kat Von D's Vampira. This one is one of those colors that I was kind of really afraid to wear at first. It has that rustish orange undertone, which I'm not too happy with normally. But this one just looks beautiful, and I love the way it looks once it's on with the right makeup. Then we have Max High Drama. Again, another recent discovery, but I've been loving these super dark lips. This has that more burgundy, purplish undertone, which I think looks really pretty. Great for people who are not as comfortable with red. Oh my goodness, my lips feel like they're going to fall off. You guys, that was painful to do. <laughs> so painful. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I love to grow my family and I can't wait to see what you guys have to say in the comments below. If I'm missing a lipstick that you guys really think that I should try or that I would love, please post that below and give this a big thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!